<coughs> Hello and welcome. I'm uh, I'm sitting in a tent in the dark. It's nine o'clock at night, and I'm uh, on uh, Dartmoor National Park. Drove down here with Rob, a uh, wild camper, and we got caught in a bit of traffic. So when we got here, it was dark and it was raining, and uh, yeah, the weather was pretty treacherous. Well, I don't know if you can hear me over the wind and the rain. Welcome to Dartmoor. So it's around 7 p.m., three to four degrees above freezing. The uh, wet weather gear's on, and we are walking the trek. The, uh, the path to the quarry here. Let's just turn the camera around, and you can see my friends. We've got we've got our brolly. Good, eh? Does help. Just takes the sting out of the rain and the wind. Oh, not that you can see much, but that's what it looks like. Oh, that's grim. That really is grim, right? So we've got ourselves set up. Um, managed to dry myself out a little bit, get some warm clothes on, and oh, we're going to eat. And then I think we're going to go to bed. So. Uh, We'll pick this up tomorrow, but we're here for the weekend. We're going a bit of a walk tomorrow and uh, find somewhere nice to camp. We uh, we're at, where are we? Fucking Tor Quarry, I think, is where we're at. But um, yeah, we wanted to be in the quarry, but there was somebody there when we got there, so we walked on a bit further, and uh, and we've just set up wherever. I don't, I don't really know where we are at the moment, but um, I'm dry now at least. And I'm about to eat, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see where we are in the morning. Pardon me. <clears throat> right, food time. Living a dream. <laughs> I'm wet and cold. <laughs> what else would I be doing on a Friday night? Okay, so. Dinner's on, and Rob's bought me a Christmas present in March. Well, thank you, thank you very I'm much. Grateful. Let's see what's in here. I think you're going to look very fetching in that. Okay. This may take me a while. I know you're uh, you're you're big on the fashion, oh, yeah. and I wanted to get you something that would complement those lovely. Ooh, I think that's rain up in here. I wanted to get you something that would complement those lovely down trousers that you've been sporting recently. Oh, so I bought you something with a bit of a twist. What is it indeed? I'm intrigued to see what it looks like in, in the flesh. Is it a kilt? It is! is it? It's a rain kilt! Oh. And I thought I'd get you a see-through one, so when it goes Fantastic. wet, it looks very small. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to go around your waist. I'll wear it tomorrow. Indeed you shall. You might be wearing it tonight if you're going out for a, uh, a squat. Yeah. <laughs> I, watched, uh, I watched a guy yesterday, last night, I think. Oh, that's kicking up that on wind. YouTube, <laughs> and he had a rain kilt on. Yeah, there you go. They're all the rage. He, he swore by it. Well, yeah, they're supposed to be good because they don't sweat, apparently. Yeah. Are you... Um, Thank you. You're very welcome. Are you nervous for your tent, by any chance? Oh, I'm, I'm nervous in this tent, <laughs> a little. I was just saying to my uh, my viewers earlier on, I'm not at the point where I'm going to bail. Not close to it yet, but if it got twice as bad, I think I'd have to consider it. Thanks, You're welcome, mate. It's only a little something. Um, so, so there you go. Oh, we're all right. It's just raining. A bit of wind. Yeah, it's exciting. So we've got a bit of wine as Let's well. Some red wine. I know. I can't. I can't join you at the moment. Cheers. Cheers. I'm holding a torch and two GoPros. Mmm, I thought I'd get you a nice one. <laughs> yeah, co-op's um, finest. I'm going to fire this back up. Yes, please. Try not to kill us. We'll burn my tent. We'll kill me. <laughs> oh, it's really bad tonight. I say it's... It's March. So we always expected it to be cold and possibly rainy, but 
It's pretty horrendous. But, uh, we're all right. We've got good spirits at the moment. Yep. Um, just hoping my tent doesn't blow away while I'm sat in Rob's tent. So if that happens, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room in Rob's tent. He seems to have spread his stuff out everywhere. Yeah, how dare I? Hinting, in my own tent. Hinting that I'll never get near Finally put my wet bag in my sleeping quarters to give you room. Oh, bless you. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. I'm the second nicest guy on YouTube. Yeah, did get a bit chilled coming in. Alright, so, alright. The rain started again. Food. Yeah, so. We had a five minute break in the rain, so managed to have a dry wee. <laughs> Ch check our guidelines. Guy line? What are they? Guide or guy? Guy line, as in with and guide. <laughs> check, check our guy lines. Oh, I've put on pretty much all my clothes and. Uh, Ready for bed. Oh, <coughs> again. So, um, yeah. Tent. My tent is a little bit wet on the inside, where I put it up in a downpour. But uh, yeah, we're okay. <sighs> but yeah, the rain's just coming back. So I'm gonna zip myself up in my bag and try and keep warm. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Rob. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Morning, folks. Oh, slept pretty good. It's about quarter to eight, I think. most of the night but uh, it's stopped right this minute so I'm going to get up and have a wee because I'm busted I've been putting off getting out of my bag because I'm really warm but I think I've got to do it I still don't know where we are okay. when I left Rob's tent last night to come back to my tent the mist had come in so I couldn't see more than a couple of metres so I'm hoping that's cleared and we can see where we are so yeah we'll uh, we'll go outside and have a look shall we <sighs> yeah let's do that
don't know if you can see in the distance there's our person who stole our uh, spot we were going to just make out that white bell tent uh, this is where we picked down there God there's a cold wind my hands are freezing I think I'm gonna go back to my sleeping bag in a minute just want to have a look over this hill Pretty, but really cold. Yeah, so I made it back to my tent, and it really is cold. So, I'm back in my sleeping bag for a bit. I make myself a coffee laying here, and uh, Rob's doing the same next door. Decide what we're going to do. It's, it's miserable. <laughs> I made coffee. Uh, I can hear Rob cursing in the tent next door. <sighs> and uh, yeah, we uh, we had plans to um, do a nice big fry up this morning. Got the ingredients and we got a frying pan, but it's raining. So we're just having a rethink on what we're going to do today. Coffee's the first thing because that makes everything better. Um, I might eat one of these little sachets just to, so that I've got something in me, just tide me over for a bit. And then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. But yeah, it's. Uh, Cold and wet. Hello again. So uh, it's been about half an hour since since I spoke to you. I've uh, I'm feeling much happier because I've gone and answered the call of nature, which was an experience. Digging a hole in the uh, in the horrendous wind and the drizzle. Um, yeah, it's bitingly cold out there, so we're a little bit tent-bound at the moment. We're having shouted conversations across each other, Rob and I. So there's, uh, there's not much of a view happening here. But uh, every time it stops raining, I think, well, I'll get up and go outside. But it's so cold that it's safer just to be in my sleeping bag. Um... As I said before, we, we've got the full ingredients for fry-up, but 
trying to figure out where to cook it when we're stuck in tents is um, is the thing. Uh, so we're putting it off. We're going to have another cup of tea and just lounge about chatting for a bit longer. It's so much fun. <laughs> we're having a good time. We're having a great time. Uh, dear, oh dear. But yeah, it's nice to be out though, isn't it, Rob? Oh, it's great. Could be at work. Exactly. Could have earned a lot of money today. Yeah. <laughs> well. <sighs> yeah. I'll show you around my tent. And that's it. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> yeah. Let's see. Nothing doing here. Just laying in my sleeping bag, keeping warm. So we just got up for a little walk about while it's not raining because we were fed up with laying down in the tent. We've got my camping companion over there getting ready for the Arctic. It certainly is chilly. Look at that quarry though, that's spectacular. So we arrived here in the dark last night and uh, I think we were we, we arrived around the other side. You see that bell tent over there. Now that it's cleared up a bit. But we didn't want to go into the quarry because there's lots of drop-offs and stuff and we were relying on head torches to find our way. That's that's really rugged. Rugged is the word I wanted. Let's go find uh, let's go find Scott of the Antarctic. What's he doing? Is he pooing in my tent? Can, I, can you pass me my gloves, Rob? I forgot them. Just literally where the Best Sport logo is. Just there. Thank you. My hands are freezing. Hello! This <laughs> you look like you're going to the Arctic. I feel like I'm in the Arctic. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind, but. A state of Rob's tent, look. So Rob's tent has uh, seen better days, and he had it a long time, but it saved us last night because we we both got in there and I sat down for some food. Well, I'm going to try my skirt on. It's not a skirt; it's a kilt. So yeah. Sourced from the highlands of China. That'd be a bad end to the day. Or a beginning, a bad beginning. Oh, look at that. Doesn't she look gorgeous? It looks like you're trying to put a plastic bag on.
that clear sight of magic. Is it actually going to go around you? Just about. It's a bit like um, you're going to like an operating theatre. Does it have little things to close off the edges or not? I don't think so. I think that's it. Oh, that's too funny. There you go. The first and last time. Do a little spin. Mind my ten. <laughs> Looks like you're wearing your chef's whites. <laughs> These are going to keep you really dry. Yeah. There must be a little tab. There's a tab there, look. Where? Is it not? No. Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Stop looking at my skirt. <laughs> Up skirt. Yeah, that's no good. You need a... I suppose it'd be all right if it wasn't absolutely windy. Yeah. And it probably needs to be longer, doesn't it? I imagine, I'll tell you what that would be good for. Summer camping and the occasional downpour. Uh -huh. You're in shot, don't worry. Summer camping and the occasional downpour. I've got this. No, no, you know if you're if you're thinking about a summer walk yeah. and you don't want to carry wet weather trousers, you've got shorts on, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. You look like you're about to butcher a cow or something. Beautiful. Well, enjoy. <laughs> don't say I don't ever get you anything. Thanks, Rob. starting to pack away while the weather's nice if you call this nice Rob's just making himself a hot chocolate and uh, yeah we might consider might consider a fry up I think we should you know I think this is the best the weather's going to be all day yeah yeah no you're right yeah, so I think we are going to do a fry up just in the entrance of Rob's tent and then if the rain comes, we'll be able to drag it in a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm just sort of doing a bit of housekeeping, getting my tent organised and, uh, and um, yeah, now I think we're going to eat something. I sort of put everything into its bags, mostly. I kind of want to leave my foil mat down because I'm sitting on it and it's it's um, it's keeping my bum warm. <laughs> anyway, anywho, moving on, moving on. Let's do breakfast. So as my uh, as my friend was just saying on his camera, one of the reasons you come to Dartmoor is to get away from people and uh, you know. Be, be out alone and not see anyone and uh, oh <laughs> there's a whole right rambling party just decided to stop and have a tea break right next to us which is just <laughs> fantastic <sighs> so going back in my tent and see what Mr. Wildcamper thinks of it. <laughs> Are you enjoying the solitude? I find it rude. No, I just, uh, oh, it's cold. I find it amusing. Humans can't. It's like when you're on a beach, isn't it? And it's an empty beach and you set up and you've got your family there and then some twat comes and sets up right next to you or on an empty bus. Yeah. You go down the bus, choose a seat by the window and the whole bus is empty and someone like that turned up and said, where should I sit? <laughs> Doink. Or the cinema. I could go on forever really, couldn't I? <laughs> you could. He's not bitter. I appreciate it's not on, but it's, uh, it's not on. Yeah, it's not on. I actually think they wouldn't want it to be here. Yeah. I mean, she's had his piss. So I'm just watching the boat take a leak over there. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Maybe 
found your mouth. Don't go down the hill. <laughs> they are going that way. Oh well, they might find something interesting to look at. They might find what I left. My leavings. Oh, so leavings. My, I think my, we need to get breakfast on. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Hungry makes us cranky. Hunger it makes does, us actually, cranky. Yes. I'm not cranky. I just, just <sighs> as you probably said, you, know, you come out of these places because you, you want a bit of alone time yeah and then two of our spots are taken and then in the morning just as you think well, that's it's all right yeah and twonk and co turn up but, um, it sounds to me like a guided us. tour because one of them's reading out landmarks and all that sort of thing yeah over there over there <laughs> we'll see a lovely big number two <laughs> mind you, they're probably miffed that we're, uh, we're here <laughs> yeah. we're camping on their he's, moor these yobos with their tins of beans everywhere yeah right it's time. Yeah. We need to cook. Yeah. I'm going to set it up here, I think. Uh, what do you say? We need to move it in. It's very cold to stand out. I don't mind cooking it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Rob's doing the main body of the fry up. I'm going to have a go at heating up beans in this fire maple with uh, and, and leave them in the can. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, so this fire maple, like the, that bit sits on there, obviously. You've got this little thing for a pan. I'm wondering, we were wondering, clip that in. I think it might be too close, Rob. Yeah? Where's the tin gun? Can you hold it with your hands? That's going to be sitting <laughs> directly on the gas thing. Nah, no worries. Well, we'll just blast it on this, it'll be fine. Oh no, look, there you go. Just about fits. Perfect. Ooh, that's close. So I'm going to take the label off, obviously. And just pop it open. Ah, uh, somehow. Hands are cold. Yeah, I'll just pop it open that little bit. And we'll see. Oh. Could be a problem when it comes to getting them off, because, oh no, I've got gloves. It's all right. It's chilly. It might take a while with these little tongs. I think I'm going to stare wistfully into the distance.
there's your uh, debris. Thank you, Chef. Welcome. Are they, uh, are they a bit burny, the beans? Mm. It's okay, though. So you can't really stir them in that tin. No, they're okay. Okay, so. Yeah, thanks to Rob mm. and his cooking skills. They go well. We've got lots of visitors this morning. The world its mother has decided to walk through here today. Mm. Crunchy bits. It's all good. Not bad. Not bad. That's really nice. So, Mr. Wild Camper cooked me breakfast. I'm going to uh, give his channel a mention because, in the lead up to us going off camping, he did a little series called How I Wild Camp, where he went through um, the planning and the packing. It was kind of like a behind the scenes thing, which I thought was a really good idea. I'll give it six months and I'll nick it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really interesting. So if you visit his channel, you can see him well, but they're both of us planning the trip and then him packing what he takes and all that sort of thing and then obviously his trip video will go up as well it's quite a good insight but yeah, that's what you get when you make me breakfast thanks love thanks love mmm Hash browns on the moor are good, aren't they? Yep. Mm. Now, I don't know what my plan is now. We do for a spot more rain later. So, our original plan was to head to Sheep's Tour, I think, yeah. and be right up on the summit, but it's going to be really high winds tonight. So that might not be the safest idea. So what where we're at now is eating this and packing up. I'm gonna go around the quarry a bit and then hike back to the car, or warm up a bit, look at the map, and sort of figure a somewhere else to visit. And whether we camp tonight or not, I'm not really sure. Because both got to be back early in the morning and um, forecast is for heavy wane and heavy wane remember heavy wane uh, heavy rain and high winds in the morning so we might be wise to bug out tonight but we'll see we'll see how we're feeling yeah eat my breakfast. Lunch, sorry. And then we'll see where we are after we've uh, after we're feeling full. Down. Okay, so look 
pretty much packed. Breakfast was delish. And uh, yeah, bags are packed. We just got to take the tents down. And it's not raining right this second, so now is the time. leaving me behind so Bye. <laughs> better get my bag on and catch him up so we were we were camped just the other side of that corner mound and, uh, so Rob was saying in hindsight we could have gone down in there but when we got here it was pitch black and uh, you couldn't see much further than a metre or two in front of you with the driving rain and the mist so uh, walking into a quarry seemed a little bit silly but, uh, it's nice we go around the outside of it now it's, it's pretty high up here oh watch my foot it's beautiful beautiful man That is a big hole in the earth, isn't it? For those that don't know, Dartmoor is in Devon, southwest of England. And it's pretty bleak. How you doing, Rob? Hello and welcome. We look so pro with our rubbish bags. Right, yeah, exactly. So there you go, kids. That's Fog and Tour Quarry. If you look at that road in the distance, we got to walk all the way down there to the main roadway and then decide from there where we're going to head to next. Yeah, I'm tempted to take young Daniel here to uh, Wistman's Woods, which is, if you didn't already know, a very ancient woodland here in Dartmoor. Um, but I have been before, and although it's very nice, it is a little underwhelming. Um, Look at them ruins. Yeah, you can get your drone and fly through the uh, window. Yeah. Nice. I don't know if you can hear what Rob's saying, but we're heading up Sheep's Tour and it's really pretty here. 
You can tell there's a lot of moisture here. These cool little paths in between the rocks. Rob, before we make this ascent, I need a wee. That is our destination ahead. And it looks a long way up. And yet, I'm heading straight for it. Trying to get to the other side of the tour because the wind is going to be coming from behind me now tonight and it could be very strong so we're looking to find a hidden spot just the other side how do we get up there That rock formation, that's where we came from. Yeah. Right, let's get up this thing. It's steep and we can't see a thing. It's not quite grim, is it? But it's getting there. It's getting there. Need to get tents up. I just need to get up this bit of hill, but we're resting. He's basically saying, hurry up. Man, this is steep. Look at that. That, somewhere down there, is the ground, but I can't see it. This is hard going. Holy, it's windy up here. Well, here we are. Basically, it's like we're up in the clouds. I quite like, oh, when I came up, oh, hang on, it's a bit slippery. When I came up, I, you know, come around the corner, directly behind this rock formation is uh, where the gale force wind is gonna be coming from. So I think, It'll be sensible to pitch the tent there.
Rob's just gone to look around, see if there's anywhere else. But for me, I'm not sure there's anywhere other than that. I don't even know where he is now. Lost him. So this little patch of dirt is uh, is my pitch for the night. This is Sheep's Tour, and very nice it is too. And once again, can't see a thing. So it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Rob's pitching over here. Whatever. I was pitching there with that massive rock, but yeah, I think we're both going to be a bit slopey tonight, but it's okay. Are we, are we committing? I don't know. I'm not happy with it. Let's move on. I'm sure it's fine. Down there is a nice view, but we can't see it. But sheep's door looks pretty imposing, and we're hoping it will uh, shield us from the worst of the wind tonight. <sighs> yeah, beer time. That's what you want, isn't it? On a cold tour in the wind and rain. Nice chilled beer. Going down well, actually. Mm. <laughs> Nothing. Look at the land underneath it. It's like the uh, merry-go-round thing. Not merry-go-round. Uh, you know those ones where the kids go round and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. I look forward to sleeping in that. It's all going to depend on where the wind decides it's going to blow. It's as simple as that. You know, the worst thing is it blows over, it blows over. It's going to hit the other side of this. You get some come over the top, some come round. It's going to be a bouncy night. So I'm glad we moved. It will be windy. I'm not too worried as such. You know, I've got a nice protection there from that side, but it's not really coming from that side of it. I'm feeling a bit more chipper. I've had a slug of beer and I found my backpack cover. I'm quite happy with that. Rob got very grumpy. Tell the boys and girls. Did I? What with? Ten? Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to have to repack. And... Well, it's more about inconveniencing him. Because his spot was perfect, wasn't it? I can't believe you made me move. To oh, be I didn't. I said to him, just leave the ten. We'll have dinner, do this sort of stuff, have a beer and a chat, and then we'll just go on. Go our separate ways. But safety wise, even just walking, it's what? A hundred metres? Yeah. And we've done it twice now, and I think I've done it wrong twice, yeah. and you've done it wrong at least once when I was following you. Yeah. You sort of go off one way thinking, oh, it's over there, and it's only for the tent that you see it. You, oh, okay, it's there, or you hear them, uh, or whatever. Yeah, it's really easy to get yeah. turned around in the fog. Very easy to get turned around, and it's, obviously it's light now, and when it's dark later on, it'll be... Yeah. And if you're panicking because your tent's blown over, you might be rushing, and you fall over and hurt yourself. So, safety first, kids. But yes, I was a little bit of a grumpy goose, because I was thinking, <laughs> oh, I've inconvenienced him. Even though I've got it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And from the very beginning, he's going, oh, I don't know, I think we should move back somewhere else. And I was like, ah, it'll be fine, don't worry. He had, he had one peg in the ground, and I said, no, we should move. Yeah, but you'd pitch a tent by then. And he said, no, we're doing it. And he put the whole tent up, pegged it all it out. It did get worse, though, and then to fair, the wind, okay, didn't it? Okay, let's move. It did get worse, didn't it? Yeah. And it got worse and worse and worse. And then we came here, looked at this again, and went, yeah, okay, and got back, and it was really bad. I thought, no, we did the right thing. Yeah. Eventually. I wanted to be here from the off. I'd give you a hug, but I can't go within, in the nuts. Can't go within three feet of you. I haven't really come yes. terribly far, or but I think it's just very, very steep coming up. 
So it's physically challenging. I think I'm tired from last night, even though I slept okay-ish. Yeah. Sorry, mate, I'm talking on your video. You yeah, carry you on carry talking on. to you, nice people. You can carry on. It's interesting. Uh, <laughs> I'm interesting. <laughs> so it is, it, it, it is, and you're tired, and, it's, and it is cold, and it is wet. Yeah. And you know, we can be honest, can't we? We did sort of think at some point we might oh, yeah. go, do you know what, let's just go home, because... I was in the camp for going home. Yeah. Someone persuaded me otherwise. It's, a, it's not a long way to come, but it is four hours of your time. It's a weekend off work for me, so it's costing me. Not trying to, but it is, isn't it? And you think you book time off, you've got pass from the families, yeah. you want it to be worthwhile. And if you just come down in the evening, spend the night in a tent, yeah. a morning in a tent, and go home, it's a bit of a, it's a shame. And now we're here, I'm glad, but I'm looking at my tent that's going Ooh, like this over there, thinking, it's only going to get worse tonight. Yeah. Look at this mist sort of rolling. Yeah. But yeah, so enough from me anyway. You uh, you talk to nice people. <laughs> yeah. I think earlier on, I just really wanted a McDonald's. That was most of. I, I could see you flagging. I think you needed a sugar a sugar boost. So. Mm. We had that fry up, which helped a lot. Oh yeah, it's it's a food thing. You've got to keep the calories coming into yeah. it. It's morale it warms you up. Yeah. I yeah. was I was laying in my sleeping bag. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Cold actually, this yeah. morning after after you know not eating a lot of breakfast and just thinking oh, if we could make it back to the car we could get McDonald's and be in a warm car and all that sort of thing but no, I'm glad I'm out so I don't get down here very often I've been so looking forward to coming I think if I'd have let the cold and the wet get the better of me then I'd have been disappointed in myself when I got home but uh, yeah, I am exhausted. I'm looking forward to my dinner. Rob's <laughs> Rob gave me meat sticks and rice, ration pack. So uh, that sounds delightful. So I'll be uh, tucking into that in about 20 minutes, I think. I'm just gonna finish my beer while it's not raining and we can be outside. And, uh, and then I'm gonna cook dinner. Right, so I'm going to take you through what I'm, how I'm sleeping, because I don't really do that very often. Uh, but yeah, I've got a little cheap blue tarp down, um, just because it gets a bit wet where I've been in and out with my boots on earlier. Um, it's a foil mat. I've got this new pillow, which is a deep sleep thermo pillow from, uh, I think it's Van Gogh. But, uh, yeah, it's all right. I slept okay with it last night. Yeah, it's quite a size. It's quilted. All right. So that's my pillow. Uh, this is a Firma Rest Neo Air. It's going on top of the foil mattress. blanket from Trespass and last night I, I mean I put this in the bag just as a because it's quite small I thought it might be nice sitting in the tent with it round me but last night I was feeling the ground underneath my thermo rest and I put this blanket on top and covered the thermo rest in it and um, it made a hell of a difference so I'm gonna do the same again that's what my bed looks like. I say foil mat, thermo rest, and then that fleece blanket on top with the pillow. And that was enough last night to keep the uh, chill of the ground off me. 
so that was, I was quite pleased with that. Let's put these other bits away. And in this very technical dry bag that I got from the kitchen cupboard is my sleeping bag, which is a uh, I get the brand name of this. I think it's the White Wall, and it's a down bag, but it's a thousand grams. So my other one is 650, so this is slightly warmer. And it does pack away to not a lot, but it fluffs up lovely. That is my bedroom. And very nice it is too. When you look out at the view, so yeah, I think that's about ready. I'm going to leave that bag to loft up. I'm going to go and sort my dinner out. Dinner's on. You're on, eh? That's nice. I feel the heat in my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> This is a simulcast. Sorry, carry on. Do you like to go first? No, you go first. I'll stop then as well. I was just being silly. I was just being silly. Rob's in his full down gear. Don't I look amazing? I'm still in my wet clothes, my waterproofs as it were. But uh, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to get in my pit and put all my clothes on and lay there and watch a downloaded movie. That's my plan. I was going to watch Netflix, but there's no 4G. Woo! Is there not? <laughs> but yeah. Meat sticks and rice. I'll tell you what it's like. This is a new thing for me. Oh, I'm not sure I like the look of that already. Oh. Spaghetti hoops. <laughs> That's obscene. <laughs> what the hell is it? That's a meat stick. Oh, yummy. Yeah, it's brown rice. Unidentified meat. I think it even says that on the ingredients. It's, um... oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it quite dry from what I remember? Pork and beef, I think, sort of meatball. I, I it's even, not the best thing I've eaten. But it's just... Mm. Mm. That's alright. Mm. I'm hungry, so... Jow phrase is good. The meat's very dry, isn't it? Mm. Disgusting. Mm. It's actually not too bad. It's kind of meatballs in tomato sauce with brown rice. Mm. It's got a baked beanie tang to it. It's alright. Mm, it's okay. Jack Fraser's okay. It's not the, um, the worst one I've ever had. in my tent and uh, I'm cold I sat in Rob's tent in my rain gear and uh, everything well my legs and that are a bit damp I've just been sat on the ground so um, I'm a bit chilly now so I've come back here I think it's only about eight half eight but um, yeah I've just got in my sleeping bag I'm just preparing a couple of uh, hand warmers I'm going to put them in my pocket and um, yeah, just lay still for a bit and um, yeah, 
try and uh, try and warm up a bit, and then I'm just going to get an early night. We got an early start tomorrow, and um, it's going to be very, very wet by all accounts. So I'm going to get to sleep while I can because the uh, the bad weather's coming in about midnight, so it may well wake us up through the night. So sleep now while we can, and then. Uh, yeah, pack up in the morning and hike it straight to the car and drive straight to somewhere warm to get a coffee is the plan. So I'll say goodnight now because I'm going to cuddle in my bag and uh, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> the wind has woken me up. <sighs> I left my rain gear outside in the vestibule and I'll just drag that in in case I lose the top of the tent. It doesn't sound pretty out there. And we're in the of the uh, rocks. I can hear the wind in the distance, really howling. So, yeah, just got to trust this tent, I think. This one's not too bad. I'll let you know in the morning. I'll say goodnight again. <sighs> oh, morning, folks. It's uh, ten to seven, and I'd like to say the wind's calmed down. But it hasn't really. Uh, the weather said that it would stop blowing really badly by about six o'clock in the morning, but it's um, it's still a bit gusty. I've got to say though, this tent is great. A lot of people knock these uh, Van Goghs. I switched out tents in the night, uh, not in the night, yesterday daytime. Um, because I wanted something a bit more uh, aerodynamic for the wind. And um, yeah, this Van Gogh Banshee that I'm in is... Uh, some people knock them. There isn't a lot of room in them, but because of its profile, it's a bit more suited. I've got it pointing into the wind. And at times, I thought me and the tent were going to take off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's done really well. I was so surprised. I, I slept again. I was awake for a good hour when the wind was really bad. Sides knocking against my face and all sorts. But I stayed dry. I stayed warm and stayed in one piece. So can't ask for much more. But yeah. This has been a good adventure. A big thank you to Rob for uh, geeing me up when I was ready to go home yesterday. So I really appreciate that, Rob. Yes. I'm very pleased I'm here now. But it is now time to go home. I'm going to make myself a quick cup of coffee. And then I'm going to pack up. And... Um, yell across to Rob I just heard him yawning I can hear him talking actually 
So uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're wrapping at them. But um, yeah, this has been a good fun adventure, which is what it's all about. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> Say, I'll say thank you for watching now, I really appreciate it, um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, don't forget the giveaway, and um, I'll see you soon. Right, should we have a look outside? Pretty white. Oh. Let's see what we can see, Rob. Is it back up for now, shall we? Yeah, Rob's tent looks like it's still standing, so. I think we are okay, we both survived. I'm just gonna try and pack everything away in this uh, in this hooli. Right, get on, get myself a coffee and get sorted out. <laughs> Thanks again, see you later. Mostly packed. Just got to take the tent down and then hike to the car. Robert's getting on the same. His tent's got a bent pole. And he's not a happy bunny. That's what happens when you give the best pictures you make. Twice. Twice. Bless him. He's going to try and make me feel bad, but it won't work. I shall, you know, I shall. Yeah, that's a bit of a bugger. He's done two of them. That's a new cold job, isn't it? Not the end of the world.
Hector. I'd like to say that's fun, but uh, two damaged tent poles, not bad, considering I was right in the bloody wind. It would have been a lot worse than that other one, though. That would have been a You've been off the job. side. We're all packed up. We have left no trace. Yes. And we are cold and wet now. Rain's coming in. Let's go.